Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What's up guys, Dota Academy here and today we're counting down 5 sets in Dota 2 that should have been our corners. Now number 5, we've got Juggernaut set Pilgrimage of the Bladeform Estet. Now this set looks very nice, it has very nice particle effects, it's got that nice looking sword, the mask, the shiny belt with the kind of red orb in the middle of it and overall I think this is a very nice set. This set originated from Fall 2016 Treasure 2 which was released during the Boston Major. Its customizations include a unique Blade Dance and Blade Fury effect. Moving on to number 4, we've got the Dark Artistry set for Invoker. Now this comes in two styles, one with this kind of long grey hair and the other ones with the Major Sapex hair. Now this set has is a very nice set because it's got obviously the purple particles in the back and the robe. Everything looks very different to any other Invoker set there is and I definitely think that it should have been Narcana because of that. So this set came from the Immortals Treasure 2, which was released during TI6. Its customizations include a unique animation and sound effect, Tornado and Deafening Woodbust. Unique orb effects for Quas Wex and Zor. Alternate hairstyles that give special Sunstrike effect identical to Major's Apex. And unique ability icons for Sunstrike, Deafening Blast and Tornado respectively. Moving on to number 3, we've got the Dark Claw Emissary set for Dazzle. Now this is honestly one of the greatest sets I've ever seen for any hero. All of the particle effects from the mask with the red glowing eyes all the way to the staff that he has with all those particles kind of circling the claw at the staff. And Honestly, this is one of the best sets I've ever seen. I definitely think it should have been an Arcana. So this set came from the Winter 2016 Treasure 4, which was released during the Shanghai Major. It includes a unique Poison Touch and a Shadow Wave animation, and it also includes a unique ability icon for Poison Touch as well. Moving on to number two, we've got Fantacini's Dilemma set for Rubik. Now this, again, is one of the best sets I've ever seen. Like, it looks n nothing like any other Rubik set. It looks great. All the particle effects from the purple glows from his hat and the back, as well as the kind of green ones that twirl around from the robe, as well as the little puppet that he's holding as well, the effects on the eyes and mouth. It just overall looks like it's such an amazing set. This set came from the Winter 2016 Treasure 2, which is another treasure that came from the Shanghai Mage. Its customizations include a unique telekinesis animation and ability icon. And for number one, we've got Urishin Huntsman set for Clinks. Now again, this set looks nothing like any other Clink set. Very nice particle effects from the back with the archers with the blue particles coming out of it, as well as the mask with the red glow. And this set has two stars, so some other pieces on the shoulders. You've either got the green yellow one, or you've got the red one. This set uh, was obtained by completing the Path of the Rogue questline, which was part of the TI6 Battle Pass. Completing all 15 three-star objectives on the path granted the so-called style unlock, which gave it the red appearance. So that's pretty much it for the five sets that should have been Arcanas. Please comment down below which sets you think should be Arcanas in Dota 2. I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a like rating below and subscribe to Dota Academy. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.